Okay, I have about a bother um, uh, filter, and I'm going to open it now to see what is inside. Okay, this is the eyepiece. Um, eBay is practically uh, like this abandoned towns. Nobody is there selling or buying. This was the last thing I bought from eBay, and it took me around uh, 10 days to receive. So hopefully it is the right item. I don't want to go to the post office for return or anything. This is a UHC LPR filter, by the way. It's a Celestron, which is equal to the bother. Okay, I should have added that. I bought this with the knowledge of that, the Celestron filter is the same as the bother filter. If you know bother, I have bother filters. I know that how they look. They have this kind of corrugated uh, edges like that, which is good for in the dark. You can just identify which one is a bother one you know, just by touch. So I'm going to open it now. Okay, this is the eyepiece. And as you can see, it is well packed. This is a national emergency, not a national holiday. Mark, thank you. Mark Easton. As you can see. I'll put it before the lens so we can see how it looks. Oh, everything looks pink. That's the right side because this is the school side. So... Okay, that's the way it looks. It is really cold outside, minus six degrees. So instead of going out and observe the stars, I just try to now stay indoors and use the AstroScan 2001 telescope to observe. And at the moment I have, I'm using the Teleview 24 millimeter panoptics 68 degree eyepiece and the target is M42 and I'm looking through the double glazed window the photos we saw they look a bit shaky and the reason is because I'm, <laughs> I put the telescope on the sofa as you can see and it's more comfortable I'm sitting also in the sofa US style and this telescope is really easy to turn around and this is the mirror I'm going not to use Orion Ultra Black um, filter just to see what's the effect of it. It's one of the best filters you can use on, a, on any object. So let me use it. Okay, the light of the stars have been blocked mostly. Uh, to a degree, not much, but the nebula looks a bit bigger, M42 I'm talking about. So let me s try the Celestron UHC Ultra High Contrast LPR filter.
Okay, with the Celestron Ultra High Contrast, uh, the image looks brighter. The Theta Orionis members of the at the core of the M42 Nebula are visible now, easy. And the nebulosity is also visible. So, we, would I prefer this to Ultra Block? On this object and on this telescope with this eyepiece, yes, the image is slightly brighter. And I can see more stellar features. Now let me try this astronomic uh, profile ultra high contrast UHC filter 002086. Let's just try this one and compare it with the um, Orion Ultra Block and the Celestron UHC. Okay, I've included the photos, that, uh, astrophotos that uh, captured with these three filters, with the uh, Orion Ultra Black uh, Celestron UHC, which is equal to the Bother UHC, and uh, the Astronomic uh, UHC. And I felt that Celestron was providing a better balance between the stars visibility and uh, visibility and extent of the nebula and so uh, if I have to go number one probably in my judgment with this telescope and this eyepiece and, and looking through this window at this time of the day year and this time of the night this angle of the thing and on this tripod which is on this sofa all the conditions I'm just naming that these are affecting probably things inside the room warm room uh, Celestron UHC gives me the brightest better image and uh, then comes astronomic UHC then comes uh, Orion Ultra Black on this object of course which is M42 an emission nebula I made this video in a warm room warmed by a wood burner stove.